What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today I want to show you guys, kind of, just not, not necessarily a hero guide, I guess we'll say, but when we decide on what heroes to build, and how we're kind of deciding, because as you guys know, we have a ton of heroes, we have Legend, Phantom, Dragon Eyes, we got lots of different stuff, and we're trying to push specific types of content well one of them that i feel like we could actually use some help in is our doom legion because of course we do have quite a few heroes uh in the doom legion right now and we just recently got focus which is a really good supporter considering uh we can give him we should already have the layers of heal which is a nice little support tool to have immortal as well uh, and just some buffing for us to do additional damage so i'm thinking that is what we're trying to do uh, of course, you know, lowering the enemy's attack is going to be sweet too. He just feels like that support hero we needed for the Doom Legion to go alongside our Liz supporter. And we have some damage dealers. We got Little Jack, we got Oakman, and we have Lucifer. Uh, one build I'm tempted to do down the road is Besmic. I don't think I'm going to use any eyes on upgrading these two abilities. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know. This is... This could be really huge, honestly, giving like an extra turn to like a Lucifer or something. <sighs> or a Liz, I don't know. But either way, we're going to build them up. And that's kind of like the whole reasoning behind us kind of doing this. We do have Little Jack up to exclusive two. We're going to see if we're going to go for an exclusive three. Try to get one more copy before the end of the event. I don't know. I feel like it was going to be a long time until that happens. So what we're going to do is we should have all the food we need to make our focus today. And I'm going to try him out also in PvP where he should shine very well. Uh, but this is going to give us even more power on our account overall because we're going to be getting another A5 hero, which, you know, we put into the, uh, whatchamacallit, my brain's not working right now. <laughs> put him in the sanctuary and give us more bonus stats. Yeah, we actually had more than enough heroes. We can actually work on another hero if we really want to. However, this hero, we definitely want to invest in his skills and we can get him all the way up to 150. It takes about 100 of these legend potions. Uh, there's quite a few things we need to do as well. First off, uh, let's unlock that. Oh, I didn't realize we had three phantom dragon eyes. Interesting. Technically, we got five at our disposal. I think for now, we'll leave him at E1. Uh, we should have plenty of skill upgrades to get him to max out, thankfully, because Gahuna, uh, Gu Gu Guhana did not need it. And the other nice thing is he has very few skills that need upgrading. So a good majority of heroes need about 16 of these scrolls to max them out before for every single one of their skills. Uh, he's one that's very convenient that we only require, what, two, four... 8 12 instead of 16 so in reality we could potentially have another hero ready to go if the game doesn't lag on me uh we're pretty close to having another one ready to go for maxed out skills too thankfully uh let's put him in oh didn't mean to do that give us more stats yes give me that defense and everything okay what's uh, level seven Ooh, thing um okay now, there are going to be some things we need to do before we actually use him, which I will go ahead and do. Uh, so we've been running like speed on a good majority of our heroes. So we're kind of short on gear right now because just about everybody I have, I want. Uh, we could go for some sort of effect hit. Actually, it's not needed. It is at 100%. I mean, it could. You know what I mean. Um... I don't want him too fast, though, at the same time. Uh, maybe we just go for something like survivability on him. Our HP gear is atrocious. Do we have any good sets down here, like HP healing? I mean, it's not horrible. Not horrible. HP speed is another option. Yeah, because we have a defensive hero for once. What we could do... I don't know if this affects his heal effect, but we could just do this right here and just give him some stats for the time being. Uh, we can also go for something defensive or HP oriented. 
don't really care about attack stats. That's actually not bad. Effect res, defense rate, HP rate. I think we might just upgrade a bunch of these guys. I think we're going to try to go for the max HP possible. I don't want that one because that one's just like... Uh, I don't know. We got a lot of gold now, too, so we can see which ones work out. You know, speed, effect hit. Oh, man, that's a lot of effect hit. Hold on. <laughs> that's more effect hit than I want on him, I think. Uh, defense rate. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, could even enhance this one, but I... Yeah, I don't think I want to waste too many resources looking for something better. I like the HP rate, to be honest. Let's equip that. We're just going to go for as much HP for survivability as possible. Uh, this is a nice HP one as well. I think we're just going to go ahead and use that one. And then lastly, get a good defensive one. There's an ad. Yeah, that's actually not that bad, but I kind of want HP as the main stat here. Thinking this one might turn out the best. Don't hit mastery. <sighs> this one could be good too. Effect res is pretty solid. It got attack rate and stuff. Man, I really wanted like an HP roll. Why game? Why is it? Oh, ooh, wait, wait. Could be a solid one. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. It actually came out pretty good. And you have the same amount of HP because it's about the stars. Uh, okay, so we got him set up. The one thing I am going to do right now, let me go farm his emblems up because that is something else we need to do, and then we'll test him out just a little bit. So we got all of his emblems farmed up. Took a little while. We got it done. Uh, overall, his power level is actually pretty solid. So just to recap, we're running some like HP setups here. Uh, there's some speed. There's some healing effects in there. There's a couple little things. The only healing he really does is going to be the bonus on the fusion, which I don't actually know if they work either. So emblems... I just went for straight defensive setups. I want him to live as long as possible. Hopefully, we can get some good stuff done. Let's take him for a test drive. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to jump right into Faction Abyss and see if we can get past the level we have been stuck on. So we finally have a full team. We have our uh, little Jack leveled up a little bit further. We're going to do this on manual because the timing of his active is not going to be great. So we're going to have to really modify this. I might actually even use it on the Liz occasionally just for some additional healing. Not let that auto. Oh, I missed it. I already missed it by one. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go with this basic attack. It does defense damage, which is an interesting one. But we can actually lower the enemy's speed so that hopefully we can go first. Get some attacks off here. Little Jack is a little slow, it does seem, but we still get an active off here. Some good damage. Uh, doesn't look like we really need to heal anybody. Get some kills going here. We'll still have some healing right there. Really no point using any of those. Actually, I'll throw the heal on real quick because, yeah, I figured he'd get a little bit of a heal right there. We don't have an aura going just yet for him either. You're going to be our first target. Again, it's kind of weird that he goes before Lucifer. I really wish in the lineup he would go after. I feel like that would be so much more useful to us, but I guess we could drop some... We could drop some stuff. I mean, Jack is starting to hit pretty hard. Yeah, I feel like I want him to go right after Lucifer because giving him this every time almost feels like a waste. I guess we could use it on little Jack just to do some like crazy AoE damage. Uh, we're going to have to try to keep our team going here. This is going to be an interesting fight to say the least. Uh, so we're going to try to make sure she doesn't get to attack. Try to take her out as fast as possible. Should die to the burn damage, I believe. Doesn't look like anybody needs a heal just yet. Hopefully she dies, thank goodness. Uh, yeah, we'll get a heal layer on everybody, get some big damage here, and now we're up against the boss, and I'm hoping we can keep up at this point. Really hoping we can. Uh, we can lower the turn meter, which is cool as well. Let's try to keep Little Jack going. Yeesh, that's a big hit here. That's a really big one. So this one does either or. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter which one we do that much right here. 
No heal right there. Oh, see, this is where I wish I could actually hit Liz. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> I kind of want Liz to get, like, some huge healing off. So, in reality, what I'm going to do is this. And I'm literally going to double up on the healing to te keep our team going here. I feel like that's the right play. I hope it is. I guess we'll find out. Um, but, yeah, the healing feels more important, in my opinion. It definitely does. Get a layer of heal on everybody. I think we're actually going to make this happen at this point. And focus might be the main reason why here. Just because of that double active we get. Now the downside is we can't do that again because it's on like a long cooldown. We just got to hope the boss isn't going to smack us in the face too hard here. Get another layer of heal just to keep them going. Hopefully to keep everybody up until we can get another active off there we go oh no no the horrify no i think we still have it though i think we do i really really think we do little jack some good added damage the burn on you let's just nuke him that's it let's just finish him get him done all right so that's the whole point of building the focus that we've been waiting for and you know what those level threes might let me upgrade my lucifer even further i don't know why i like this one so much oh or i could put this on my pvp heroes no i think i'm going to continue with the star levels i'm going to try to get it all the way up to five as soon as possible i really want to test this out and see how it works out it seems like pretty good one for him since he is going to get a lot of kills but again we have to wait for his exclusives but yeah, I'd say that was a pretty successful attempt of focus. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I will try them out in some PvP as well. And I'll see you guys next time.